Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fall 2020 Convocation Ceremony for the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. I'm Ed Kelly, Dean of the College. We're really glad you've joined us. Let me share a bit about what's in store. The president of the JMAC Alumni Group, Katie Kuntz, will welcome our graduates to the ranks of alumni. We also will hear a few comments from this year's outstanding senior, Lily Taylor. Then hear a keynote address from one of our distinguished alumni, Lauren Brookie. And graduates in the fall class of 2020 will be introduced. We also want to remind you that this ceremony is being archived to our website for future viewing. For many of our graduates, their special moment doesn't happen without the support and guidance from their personal network, particularly their loved ones. So I want to recognize all the parents, grandparents, and other family members who helped our graduates get here tonight and are watching this ceremony. Let's give them a hand in a virtual way. It also takes a lot of effort from faculty members and staff once our students are on campus. I would also like to thank the Gaylord College leadership team that includes faculty and members of our professional staff. Included on this leadership team are our Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, Dr. David Craig, and Yvette Walker, Assistant Dean for Student Affairs and Administration. Our college is organized around three areas of study, journalism, strategic communication, and media arts. These area heads serve on leadership to shape our curriculum and ensure that our, we are meeting the needs of our students and the industries we serve. These faculty members are Dr. Lani Sting, area head for journalism, including digital, print, and broadcast. Debbie Young, strategic communication area head, which encompasses our advertising and public relations programs. And Dr. Ralph Bellavo, who leads our media arts area, which encompasses professional writing and creative media production majors. Our graduate programs are led by Dr. Peter Gay, who is also a member of our journalism faculty. I would also like to thank the many other faculty members of Gaylord College for the enormous, and I do mean enormous, amount of time and energy they put into mentoring our students. Our esteemed faculty is complemented by our well-trained professional staff who support the efforts of the college and provide guidance to your student as they move through their college years. Thanks to them as well. Here at the University of Oklahoma, Students first began studying journalism under the English department in the early 1900s. Journalism became a separate school under the College of Arts and Sciences in 1913, making us one of the first journalism schools in the country. The landmark $22 million gift from the Gaylord family in year 2000 elevated the program to college status and was a catalyst for the renaissance in our journalism and mass communication program. Since 2000, enrollment in the college has doubled. The college is now home to some of the most successful undergraduate and graduate students on our campus. Currently, more than 1,400 students call Gaylord College home. The enrollment numbers speak to the continued relevance in our world of the professions contained within our five degree programs. Our numbers hint at the excellence contained in the college, as evidenced by the number of campus-wide honors and state, regional, and national awards earned by our students. Gaylord is dedicated to providing state-of-the-art instruction to our students to prepare them for their careers in a dynamic, technology-driven world. For 70 years, the journalism program at OU has housed the professional writing programs, one of the few in the country, and our few former students include New York Times best-selling authors. Our professional writing faculty have published numerous titles, and this year our PW students, as we call them, have had their work placed and published all over the country. Gaylord College has been recognized by a top 10 journalism program by the Radio TV Digital News Association. Our newscast, OU Nightly, was recognized nationally as the best of its kind in the United States. Our sports program, Sooner Sports Pad and Game Day U, are national award winners as well. This academic year, we sent journalism students to Washington, D.C. to cover news stories for media outlets in Oklahoma. And a number of our students have interned at media outlets across the country in the past. Our advertising program has been ranked as in the top 10 of the nation as judged by bestofcolleges.com. Our public relations program, the largest in Gaylord College, is the nation's oldest accredited PR program. Our strategic communications seniors in advertising and public relations in recent years worked with clients in their capstone classes that included Hewlett Packard, Microsoft, American Honda, 
Quick Grip, Victoria's Secret, and the number one Major League Baseball bat company, Marucci. Many of our advertising and public relations students work in our integrated agency known as Lindsay and Asp. Such experience leads to opportunities across the country. Creative Media Production is our fastest growing major in Gaylord College, as its enrollment has essentially doubled in the last five years. Students frequently win Student Achievement Awards at the Heartland Emmy Awards for competition in a multi-state region. And we have won more national awards for video production from the Broadcast Education Association in the past five years than any program in the nation. Graduates, we hope you see that Gaylord College is working hard to prepare students for the rigors of career in the modern media and communication worlds. We want you to be prepared to be communicators, innovators, and entrepreneurs, and to be difference makers in any career that you choose. So to you, the fall 2020 graduates, I say on behalf of the faculty and my colleagues that it has been our privilege to serve you as instructors, mentors, and guides. You've walked the same path as more than 11,000 OU journalism and mass communication grads before you. Graduates who've had distinguished careers in digital spaces, broadcasting, print, filmmaking, advertising, public relations, professional writing, publishing, government, and teaching, as well as many other fields. We challenge you to follow your dreams, to use the talent and dedication you have, and to excel in all of your life's pursuits. By doing so, you will honor your family, your degree, our college, and the university. I know parents, family, and friends join me in congratulating our graduates. This ceremony obviously honors our new graduates. As they move into the ranks of alumni, they become part of the support system for future generations. The backbone of that support system is JMAC, our Journalism and Mass Communication Alumni Association. JMAC contributes a number of resources, both financial and in-kind, to Gaylord College. Katie Koontz is the president of JMAC and a Gaylord graduate who majored in public relations. She's an experienced marketer whose background in web-related issues, marketing, and events. For the past five years, she has served as a university's web manager in marketing and communication. There, she manages central content management and has implemented a new training program for all new users. And she works closely with colleges and departments on a web and content creation strategy. Prior to her current assignment, she was the Assistant Director of Communications in the Office of Admissions and Recruitment here at OU. Earlier in her career, she worked for five years for the United Way of Central Oklahoma, where she was Director of Events and Online Communication. As JMAC President, Katie has been keenly involved in its restructuring and increased outreach to alumni. We're fortunate to have her in this key leadership role. So please join me in welcoming JMAC Board President, Katie Coons. Katie? Hi, my name is Katie Kuntz, and I have the honor of serving as president for the JMAC Alumni Association. On behalf of JMAC, I congratulate you on achieving this significant milestone. Let me be the first to welcome you to the ranks of alumni of the Gaylord College. You join a group that is more than 11,000 strong and growing. Years of dedication, study, and hard work have culminated, and now the world awaits you. This is your opportunity to take what you have learned and apply it to the challenges that await you in the business world. And while challenges do await you, especially in these uncertain times, it is good to know that you are well prepared because of the education you received here at the Gaylord College and the University of Oklahoma. Keep in mind that your education is ongoing and you will have many more opportunities for learning. As with your student experience, the same will hold true for your alumni experience. The more involved you become, the more rewards you will receive in experiences, contacts, and knowledge. As you begin your professional journey, I challenge each of you to strive for success. Visualize your dreams and achieve them. But I also challenge you to remember your heritage and tradition and always be a supporter of your college and university and the students who will follow in your footsteps. Also, never forget we are your alumni family. We are still here just as we have been during your collegiate years, 
and will remain supportive throughout your professional career. I encourage all of you to join and be involved in JMAC. Continue to grow your relationships with your fellow Gaylord alumni and support future Gaylord alumni. I am so honored to welcome you as a peer and an alumni, and I congratulate you on a job well done. Thank you, Katie, for your leadership and support. I would now like to introduce our Assistant Dean Yvette Walker, who will help us honor our students for their academic achievements. Dean Walker. Thank you, Dean Kelly. One of the great joys of teaching is seeing students excel and distinguish themselves among their peers. The University of Oklahoma recognizes students for academic achievement in a number of ways. One way students' academic excellence is signified by the wearing of a golden hood with their regalia or a blue and gold cord. Gaylord College students who maintained a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 are designated as graduates with distinction and students who maintained a grade point average of 3.8 to 3.99 are designated as graduates with special distinction. Those who have achieved a perfect grade point are designated as Special Distinction 4.0. Congratulations to all of you who have received these honors. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker and overall outstanding senior, Lily Taylor. Lily is what I like to call an Oklahoman by way of. She was born in New York City, spent her middle school years in Albuquerque, New Mexico, then finally landed in Tulsa. She's graduating this year after majoring in professional writing. She's a member of the Gaylord Ambassadors and serves on the OU Daily Publications Board. Her awards include Oklahoma Region Institutional Nominee, President's Leadership Class, Outstanding Panhellenic Scholar, and the Cum Laude Society. Lily had three internships while an undergraduate, and all three were at NBC Universal. They obviously liked her because they kept asking her back. And with all of this, she's also an A student. Ladies and gentlemen, here's our outstanding senior, Lily Taylor. Thank you so much, Dean Walker. Four years ago, we all stepped foot on campus, anxious to make our mark on this university. Doubtlessly, as we have reached the conclusion of our time here, many of us have wondered whether we succeeded. Have we left behind legacies? Will our contributions here have created detectable change? It's human instinct to view the world this way, to desire to lead a life above mediocrity. But how do we do that? And should life be measured by success alone? It would be a disservice to behave as though all of my time here, or all of yours, has been outstanding. When thinking back on the years I've spent on this campus, I've grown more from my failures than my successes. There's something about those moments of darkness, the ones where the unflinching truth of our crippling humanity is laid raw and exposed. It's a horrifying feeling to realize that parts of our life are out of our control. As children, many of us feared the dark. As adults, we feared the dark moments. But like with the day and the night, there is reason for dark as much as there is reason for light. What if, instead of dreading the dark, we decided to understand it? After all, if we only grow in moments of hardship, shouldn't we yearn more for the pain? As we move on and leave college behind us, we will face failure. We will also wrestle with fear, injustice, anger, betrayal, and loneliness. We will discover strength we didn't know we had and find weaknesses we're ashamed we do have. There will be times of such sorrow, our hearts won't be sure they can survive. My greatest wish for all of us is this. When these moments come, we face them head on. While our culture tells us that failures should be hidden, forgotten, and denied, I hope we learn to be proud of them, to exalt them, to never hide behind the lie of perfection, but to find community in our shortcomings. After all, there is no greater victory than staring defeat in the eye and refusing to yield. That means those times of darkness, then, are what nourish us. They are the reason we grow, adapt, and evolve. Our futures are there, hidden. That is reason to rejoice in them. I understand that what I'm asking of us is not easy. It goes against the fabric of not only our culture, but of our very being to do so. 
We live in a society of institutionalized competition, where our success is due to someone else's failure. We realize that aggression grants power and power grants control. Yet despite every success we achieve, there will always be something else we desire. That is an exhausting way to live. If our level of contentment revolves around our own perceived success, we will never be satiated. If, though, we come to appreciate the journey, including the wins and the losses, life beyond the walls of this college is far less daunting. So I urge us to find the middle ground between those who ignore their failures and those who are overwhelmed by them. It does not do to dwell on the agony of defeat and forget our achievements, nor does it serve us to profess superiority over those who do not acknowledge their faults. So as much as I wish us all great success and happiness, I likewise wish us crushing defeats. Not too many, and not too often, but enough that we never forget the truth of where the essence of our humanity grows. When right to do so, we should celebrate our achievements and bask in the glory of our brilliance. And when we're defeated, we should have a good cry, but we shouldn't wallow. Hope is there, waiting for us in the darkness. And when we find it, we'll find ourselves better for it. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. It is my pleasure to introduce our convocation speaker and great alum, Lauren Brookie. Lauren is based in Tulsa, where she serves as Assistant Vice President to the University of Oklahoma for Advancement, providing development, strategic planning, and community relations leadership. She has been honored for her 30 plus years in public relations and marketing. That includes being honored as a fellow of the Public Relations Society of America, one of only about 350 professionals in the United States who have been selected for this honor. Lauren has spent much of her careers in executive roles in higher education. Most recently, she was Vice President for Marketing and Communications at OU, and before that, Vice President of External Affairs and President of the TCC Foundation for Tulsa Community College. Before leaving TCC for OU, she oversaw a successful $20 million campaign for the TCC Foundation as its Chief Executive. In 1995, she was named partner and owner of the public relations firm Schnocky Turnbow Brookie and Associates where she had worked previous eight years and served a number of public and private clients. She had returned to Tulsa from Houston, where earlier in her career she was a public relations consultant for Ward Creative Communications. She started her career in media as a reporter for the Tulsa Tribune after graduating from OU with a degree in journalism. While a student, she served in a variety of editing roles at the OU Daily, including serving as editor in spring 1981. Which, which means she spent many an hour in Copeland Hall, the home of our journalism and mass communication program for many years. Some of you graduates have heard me say how a Gaylord or journalism degree is the best degree on campus to go to work in a variety of aspects in the media world and beyond because of the communication skills that you've developed in our program. Well, our convocation speaker is an absolutely great example of that. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lauren Brookie. Dean Kelly, parents, faculty, staff, and graduates of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communications, it is one of my greatest honors to both salute you and speak to you at one of life's most important accomplishments, your graduation. As a 1981 graduate of the University of Oklahoma School of Journalism, I can tell you the significant contribution my four years at OU, my time at the wonderful OU Daily, and my graduation have had on my life. I remember, and I believe you will remember as well, the time at OU with fondness and with pride. Believe it or not, the blood, or in your case, nasal swabs, sweat and tears, not to mention money, this journey has cost you in the short term, will grow into success and gratitude. You will develop, as I have, a deep, deep appreciation for the work and commitment you made to your own future at this university. Years ago, a college president told me the two decisions a person makes that have the biggest impact on the quality of their life are where they go to college and who they marry. You have already made one of those decisions, maybe in some cases both, and it was a great decision. So all that is left is to make the most of it. It's true, the older you get, the more you reflect. So what did I learn from the College of Journalism? that has served me well and that could possibly serve to make a difference in your future. I learned at least five very important lessons. 
I learned that only those with the most energy and the most hustle get the story first. Be the one who gets the story first. Nine times out of ten, your employer won't expect you to be perfect, but they will expect you to hustle, to show persistence, and a desire to get there first or succeed. Two, I learned that everything, literally everything, starts with the written word. You will soon discover that outside your college, only a very few people feel comfortable composing more than a paragraph. It's hard for most people to write. Whether it's a video script, a speech, a proposal, a social media campaign, an expose, a book, a legal brief, or an investment strategy, it all begins with the ability to write well, to convey an idea clearly and concisely. As a graduate of this college, you have a leg up already on the vast majority of professionals you will work with in the future. Use that leg up as your competitive advantage. Third, I also learned that a team outcome is more important than a personal outcome. Believe me, it really, really is. As I spent days seeking facts, calling sources, or writing the next great breaking news story in my time as a reporter, in the end, I was only as good as the copy editor, headline writer, or fellow reporter helped me to be. It takes a team effort to be successful. Number four, I learned that accuracy is what it takes to be credible and behaving ethically goes hand in hand with accuracy. Journalistic work with mistakes will end a reporter or a communication professional's job or career. But a serious lap in ethics will ruin your life, or at least your life as you know it. We read about countless examples every day. If you think about the true leaders or mentors in your chosen field, their accuracy, reliability, integrity, and ethics are truly what set them apart. But as you venture forth, truth will seem obvious at first, but then black and white will turn to gray, and you will have to revisit your values time and again. My professional values were forged in this college first, and they have served me well over time. And finally, I learned that relationships are as important as the work. As a young journalist, I came to OU wired as a bit of a loner, but there are people from this institution who have made a mark on me and who I continue to respect and cherish to this day. The power of a person and relationship to support you, to connect you with the job, to encourage you and advance you can never, ever be overvalued. I learned at OU that the people I went to college with, and likewise, those you have spent the last four years with, and the university I attended, would someday be the same people who encouraged me and gave me incredible opportunities. Keep up your relationships, be a giver, you will never regret it. Of course, it is less important what I have learned and much more important what you have learned from this time at OU. I hope you take the opportunity, after you get a lot of sleep, to reflect, to soul search, and assess what your investment, your lows and your highs, have given to you in terms of practical lessons for your life. My real wish for you is that you remain a lifelong student. I hope you continue to be curious, open to learning, skeptical of the obvious, interested in what lies below the surface, and committed to the journalistic standards of great writing, enterprise, and ethics that makes our profession truly special. Boomer Sooner, and best of luck for your exciting future. Thank you, Lauren. We very much appreciate you helping us salute our graduates this year. It's now time to recognize the undergraduate students who are receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Journalism and Mass Communication. Dean Kelly, the candidates who are graduating embody the undergraduate mission of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. They value and protect freedom of expression they welcome and encourage intellectual and cultural diversity. They exercise critical thinking, and they are creative, ethical, skilled, and socially responsible. They have fulfilled all degree program requirements for a Bachelor of Arts in Journalism from the University of Oklahoma. On behalf of the faculty of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication, it's my great pleasure to recommend to you each of these individuals for you to bestow upon them their respective degrees 
I offer to you the fall class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Craig. President Harris has delegated to me the authority to honor each of you upon completion of the work for your degrees. Therefore, it is my great pleasure to congratulate you for your achievements in completing your degrees and to recognize each of you individually as you receive your degree certificates with all the rights, perks, and privileges due to you. I congratulate the fall class of 2020. You are now officially alumni. And now faculty leadership in the college will announce the undergraduates' names in each one of their majors. We'll start first with advertising majors, as recognized by Professor Debbie Yacht, the area head for strategic communication. Our advertising majors are Anthony Adams, Hannah Barrett, Graham Buchanan, Sarah Searmack, Will Conover, Whitney Dupree, Shelby Duckett, Madeline Giffen, Haley Greer, Lauren Haig, Lauren Helzer, Melanie Ho, Hannah Wynn, Lauren Jeldy, Katherine Lawson, Anna Lowry, William McCormick, Anna Moore, Benjamin Moore, Haley Morph, Anna Lee Siegel, Peyton Sprague, Ashley Wigginton, and Haley Williams. Now, Dr. Ralph Beliveau, the area head in media arts, will announce the graduates in creative media production. Congratulations, graduates. Nina Alaviche, Alyssa Bolden, Hope Crowell, Brooke Engels, Grant Galvin, Stephen Holland, Noah Jano, Alex Kelke, Luke Kimball, Karis Conkler, John Martinez, Benjamin Posel, Zhang Ku, Jill Rokiski, Stingray Schuler, Philip Segner, Kennedy Sepulvedo, Ashlyn Smith, and Chastity Tovar. Congratulations. Now, Dr. Alani Stain, the area head in journalism, will announce the journalism graduates. Congratulations to the following graduates. Alexander Barron, Trinity Cohey, Claire Easley, Lindsay Gibbs, Kelsey Havenetz, Caitlin Hudson, Eli Eisenberg, Drake Johnson, Kara Karps, Amy Lewis, Bailey Lewis, Madison Lewis, Brooke Merksky, Leah Perkins, Cassandra Snow, Jared Standridge, Parker Toon, Tyler Trajee, Zachary Volk, Autumn Wagner, and Anna Kate Weichel. Dr. Velvo now will announce the graduates who are professional writing majors. Congratulations, graduates. Miranda Beck, 
Amanda Bloy, Mark Cordiero, Savannah Ford, Hannah Hall, Jessica Hurley, Isaiah Irby, Kira Johnson, Matthew Matoyer, Natalie Morris, Lauren Owen, Taylor Posey, and Lily Taylor. Congratulations. Professor Yant will now announce the graduates in public relations. And our public relations graduates are Katie Alfred, Myra Alvarado, Keeney Barnes, Nicole Brodsky, Avery Brown, Mackenzie Dean, Caitlin Dill, Alexis Ferrara, Sage Greenhouse, Amy Harris, Andrea Harrison, Logan King, Ryan Lewis, Sally Merrill, Naomi Walker, Zywi Wang, Michael Washington, Ava Wasson, Grace Whitmill, Jordan Wilson, and Sina Jung. Congratulations again to the Gaylord College undergraduates of fall 2020. Now, Dr. Peter Gade, Director of Graduate Studies, will recognize our graduate students who are participating in the ceremony today. Thank you, Dr. Craig. Hello. I am fortunate to direct our college's three uh, graduate programs, and we are all very pleased and quite proud today to recognize our graduates. The cap, the tassel and gown are traditional academic wear. For graduate students, a hood is added to the academic regalia to signify an advanced accomplishment. For faculty, the privilege of guiding graduate students includes countless hours of teaching, encouraging, mentoring individual students. This one-on-one -on -one mentoring brings great challenge, but yet at the same time great reward for both faculty and of course the students. To recognize the earning then of the graduate degree, the faculty advisor traditionally places the hood on the student during the commencement ceremony. Of course, today we must alter this slightly. But we still celebrate our graduate students' achievements in the tradition of the bond between the graduate student and the student's advisor. Our fall 2020 graduate students who have earned their graduate degrees are earning the Doctor of Philosophy degree, Emmanuel Lugard Naduka. His dissertation, Examining the Influences on Sub-Saharan African Media Norms, the Effects on Professionalization of African Media was co-chaired by Dr. David Craig and Dr. Peter Gade, me. Congratulations, Dr. Naduka, on earning the Doctor of Philosophy degree. Our Master of Arts students, Lauren Capraro. Lauren's project was chaired by Dr. Maida Kerstarfin. Congratulations, Lauren. Glenn Flansburg earned his Master's of Arts degree. His thesis was chaired by Dr. Ralph Beliveau. Congratulations, Glenn. Grayson Fuller earned her Master of Arts degree. Her project was chaired by Dr. Jensen Moore. Congratulations, Grayson. Dylan Lorino, whose project was chaired by Dr. Melanie Wilderman. Congratulations, Dylan. Ana Marquez, 
whose project was chaired by Dr. Doyle Yoon. Congratulations, Anna. Kiana Morady, whose project was chaired by Dr. Melanie Wilderman. Congratulations, Kiana. Cassandra Pruitt, whose project was chaired by Professor Kyle Burgesson. Congratulations, Cassandra. And congratulations to all our graduate students earning their graduate degrees today. Thank you, Dr. Gade and other members of our graduate faculty. Congratulations to all our graduate students who are honored here today. And congratulations again to all of our new undergraduates. Thank you all for joining us. To the graduates on behalf of the faculty and staff of Gaylord College, I wish you nothing but the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. We close our time together as we do at every major event at the university with a classy rendition of the OU chant. The words are here on the screen. Okay.